What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag action. So today guys, we're going to be going over the new character. I am on my test account as you can see in the top left, Space Unicorn. Testing, one, two, test. The new character guys is not Stella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we get a new character, guys, I need to do it here. I need to remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos because your support is genuinely appreciated, and I really can't tell you how much it means to me every time you guys do that um, and show your support in that way. Um, so please do that for me. Just and ring the little bell if you feel fit. Now, that being said, let's hop into duality. The new character, Two-Face. This character I've known about for a little while now. Um, duality is a bounty hunter from a neighboring planet who couldn't resist the riches she was promised for capturing Arkan. Ooh, but who put her up to the task? Only a secret organization could have access to the type of funds it takes for Duality, so she'll never risk losing it. So, I don't think she's going to be telling anybody who put her up to the task. I think I know who. <laughs> but anyways, let's do a statistical rundown for her. Uh, hit points 307, damage 85 to 98, speed 13.6, speed while shooting 8.7, respawn 30 seconds because she is a legendary, uh, weapon range of 35 meters, strong against buildings. Uh, the Money Maker is her weapon of choice. It has ammo of 15, reload time 1.6, fire rate of 150, radius of 1 meter, and base damage of 47.2. The Marking Ability. Cooldown is about 0.5 seconds. This is basically, I'll explain this more in depth once we get into the video itself. Ammo of 3, range 300 meters, weapon 47.2, reload time 1.9, marking speed boost of 1.2, uh, damage boost of 1.35 and essence stacks or three essence is very important with this character I'll explain why as well once we get into some gameplay and she gets an extra essence as her frag power now let's get into some gameplay with this character shall we so things you're going to notice with this character right number one the design is very interesting I will say it's not one of frag's best designs for a character visually it's not as appealing but it is very good now with that being said this card it's a little hard to, to judge a card. Oof, what am I getting hit by, Jet? Yeah, Jet. Now, what you'll notice is if you hit somebody, they turn purple. This essentially has marked them for execution. I'm a bounty hunter, essentially, with this card. If I kill them, I collect their essence. If you look down in the middle of your screen directly above my health, you will see that I have 307 health points. We will also see two little skulls with fangs. Those are essences I've collected. Those are people that got marked by the marksman rifle, turned purple. Oh, another thing you'll notice, guys. Well, actually, let's get back to what we're talking about. Now I have three. Three is the max unless you have the power. So, with that being said, one thing you will notice with the essence ability is your damage, the more essence you have, goes up. That's right. I just did 116 to the body with this character. Now, you're also probably wondering, Space, why do you have him pushed up like this? Well, let me show you. If I click her ultimate ability, I enter Blitz Mode. Blitz mode puts away the sniper rifle and issues out an AR style weapon with bullet travel, of course, that dishes out about a hundred damage to the body, guys. That is ridiculous, and you can stay in this mode until you die, which makes it even more ridiculous. Look at all the people dying. <laughs> this card feels really good right now, and I think she is going to be very strong. Um, but you're noticing that, honestly, the amount of damage that I'm putting out for this card, being a level 9, that's no joke, guys. That's a serious damage number. And, honestly, there's no way to work around it. It's just, and you can also, like I said, I'm just switching back and forth. Switch back to my AR to go on the assault. Um, it's very, very simple to do. And, honestly, the damage does not lie. 103 to the head. So on, uh, there's no headshot multiplier, thankfully. Base damage is pretty good too, as you can see. 29 for this, 32 to 33 for the marksman rifle. Anybody wants to engage you, it'll be the last thing that they do, due to the fact that, like I said, you're just the amount of damage you're pushing out is silly. <laughs> um, why are you running? Chill jet, chip, mm, Paku. Get him! Need health. But yeah, so what you're seeing, guys, is just basically the damage. Movement buff with the blitz mode is pretty good, actually, as well. You notice the speed buff. It's not as much as you would think it would be whenever it says the percentages, but overall, it feels pretty darn solid. Oh, little bugger. 
I do really enjoy this character. I love the fact that I can switch between sniping. Historically, sniping and frag has been really bad. Um, this character is kind of happy, uh, happy median for snipers, actually. I will say that. I like how it's set up and balanced out. What are you doing? Can't hit my shot. Switch to the marksman rifle. Switch back. Yes, it does reload whenever you switch. And actually, interesting little fact, it's faster to switch than it is to reload. So you kind of got to keep that in the back of your head whenever you're playing this character. That switching between your primary fire and your blitz mode is actually pretty helpful. Alright, so... We've played her now in a regular match. We should play her in another match. Look at that. 26 friggy frags without even trying. Now, granted, it was against a test bot, but hey, you know, you know, you take what you can get. Um, all right, so let's move into another type of match for this one. Uh, I always, I, I don't know why they keep asking me that question. Um, let's see how she performs on Street Frag, shall we? Keep in mind, the trick with this character, guys, is going to be can you build that essence counter? That is going to be the big thing. It's a lot like Hokairu, where if you kill somebody, it stacks. This card is much the same way, and it plays much the same as well. Now, if you tag somebody with your marksman rifle and you switch to your assault rifle, you do get credit for the essence thing. And I think that's the goal was so that you had people switching back and forth like I'm doing right now, just stacking the essence on the character. Um, this is a very unique feature. This is the first card quite like that, where building off of a kill, like I said, that's not really new, but building off of a kill to the extent that whenever you tag somebody, you have it's basically you basically have two weapons with this character, and that's just I don't even know where to begin. Like that's just cool. Ooh, the switch to the marksman rifle puts down Dan the man. I can't imagine what this card's gonna be like with its frag power. Like straight up, dude. <laughs> you can really dish it out. Like, honestly, this card's dishing it out. Where are you at, bud? Thought you were there. Thank you. Thank you for coming around the corner. As you'll notice, if I have, I'm not losing essence because I'm not dying. You do not lose your essence unless you die. That is another unique feature to this card. Man, she hits hard, guys. Oof. And she's pretty quick with a small hitbox. I mean... Truthfully, there's there's this card's going to get. I uh, said this. Keep in mind, guys, this is not final form. Um, important thing to note with this card, this is not going to be its final form. Um, it will get probably a minor rework because it does feel strong. Uh, but like I said, it's really hard to judge a card on how strong it is whenever you're playing against a bot. Oh, you dirty bugger! Freaking arc and block my shot. Get another little frag there. Come around the corner. Boom, boom, boom. Another win for Duality. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. Somehow Arkin got MVP there, but I definitely did all the killing. I told you. Arkin, you didn't kill nobody. I killed them all. Double MVP? Question mark. Ooh, we advanced to another arena. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, back to our next game. We're going to do Payload now. As I stated before, guys, overall with this card, I like the way it feels. I like the uniqueness of the two. This is really the first card that has had two unique weapons all to itself. Um, and that's something that I can really appreciate. Got him. And honestly? Yeah, you didn't want it, did you? No, you just wanted to sit there and be cool. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it? I built that little ability right there. We're going to pause this cart real quick, and then we're going to go nuts. Um, yeah, honestly, this card feels pretty good. And once we get patch notes, guys, I will give you guys the full-on debrief for all the cards. Um, man, this card feels so good. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This is one of the first times I've had a sniper card that I've actually enjoyed playing like this. Technically, it's not even a sniper. It's not a true sniper. It just has the ability to snipe. There's a difference. Get your duality. There's only, you can only be one. Ooh, Inferno. Inferno wants to go. Level 10. Aha! Duality wins. 
Nice little snap there. Keep looking around. Float like a butterfly. Oh, I was going to light him up. I'm thinking Arkin just ruined that guy's day. Oh, oh. Oh, baby. The damage. Never mind. 0 .5, 0 0.5 seconds to undo. Um, not undo. To change your ability. Um, really makes it so this card. It's genuinely a strat to where you switch weapons to reload. Because it's actually faster to do so. Um, if I had to guess, I would tell you that that gets patched. But you never know. Frag has done some weird things in the past. Nothing preventing him from doing another weird thing, right? Alright, let's see here. Oof. The fire rate with this character is a little slow with the... I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just, it feels slow, you know? This card feels really good, though, and it feels unique, which and that's something that's something I'm really happy about. The last two characters they've done have felt unique. That is a good thing, guys. I enjoy this character. Let me know your thoughts on duality in the down there. And I will see you, Legends, next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.